Hey guys, so I wanted to give you an update on where I'm at with the pint. I am now at 200 miles. Actually, I'm a little bit more than 200 miles. I shot this video a few weeks ago, actually, and it's taken me a couple weeks on and off <clears throat> just to get it exported out of Rilo. I've had all sorts of problems <clears throat> with my Rilo camera. It's sort of a love-hate relationship with it, but um, it takes really good 360 video and it's easy to export when it exports. I bought a new memory card and it's a new micro SD. It's supposed to be really fast. The Rilo didn't recognize it, so it was just on and on. Nothing but problems, but this day at the beach was absolutely awesome. It was the first time that I'd actually ridden in the sand with a pint. So had an opportunity to take it down to the coast. Actually had a photo shoot down there, had to shoot this island. And I actually, I just passed my family there on the left. I actually loved using it out there. So, um, I do take a spill a little bit <clears throat> because this thing is great in the hard pack sand, but if there's any loose sand at all, you'll, you'll eat it. <laughs> and it's funny because I actually almost eat it in front of these two people. Um, I was able to ca catch myself, but you'll see that it was definitely a little bit wonky and a couple times, um, I sort of thought I was going to fall, but I didn't. So anyway, it was pretty funny, but I had a blast taking it out to the coast and I definitely recommend, you know, if you could find something super hard packed like this, that it would be awesome to ride on. And I carved around quite a bit uh, with it. I don't have video of that, but <clears throat> this beach is like 20 miles long. And if I had you know, spare batteries. There's actually an abandoned Air Force base down here at the end. You can't really see it in the video, but I would have loved to cruise all the way down there. And <clears throat> I'll, you know, definitely want to take a trip back and, you know, try and do that someday. But, um, <clears throat> as far as the pint goes, I'm still enjoying the ride in the pint. I am noticing though, that <clears throat> I'm starting to hit that pushback. And, um, the pushback is really, really intense. So, you know, it's like you have to ride between 12 and 13 miles an hour in order to not get that pushback. So <clears throat> on my plus, I'm, you know, I, I can ride a little bit quicker on it, you know, 14, 15, but I generally try to stay under 15 miles an hour anyway, but that's the only thing I wish the pint pushback was, you know, maybe just, I don't know, one, mo one more, like 15, like if it started at 15, I think that would be cool. But anyway, <clears throat> it's still okay. I mean, I still enjoy riding the board and I take it with me on all my photo shoots because it's so much easier to take this than it would be to take my plus so just in terms of portability you know I really enjoy the portability of the pint and you know I see people slapping flight flight fins on it and stuff like this you know I really see my pint as one of those things where you know I'm mostly riding it on sidewalks and is in residential areas and things like that um, I wouldn't want to commute I don't think on a pint really. And mo mainly it's because of that, you know, 14 mile per hour limitation. You know, if I was having to get out of a situation quickly, I don't know, it would be nice to be able to get that extra speed. So I wouldn't recommend the pint for a commuter. Definitely not. Maybe, you know, if you had to go a couple miles and I don't know, it'd probably be okay for that. You know, you might be able to I don't know, even further than that. The only thing I'd be concerned about is, you know, getting out of the way of traffic. 
with that speed limitation, you know, some people can push past it. I haven't really been able to. I actually, I hit some pretty severe pushback and it put me into a little bit of a wobble. I knew what was going on, but the back still, you know, sort of got a little wonky on me. So that wasn't, you know, the best feeling in the world. But other than that, you know, it's been pretty good. So overall, you know, my experience has been awesome with the pint. So I still highly recommend it at 200 miles and I'm still going. This is the, you know, going to be the board that, that I'm going to grab, you know, more than my plus. And, um, I still want to try to look at getting an XR, but I think I'm going to wait until a new version of the XR comes out. And I think, I think it, it's going to happen. I think, it, I think we'll see it next year. So anyway, that's it guys. Till next time.